nerd dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 74 in our series, Create a Ruby Gem, Nerd Dice. So in our previous couple of episodes, we took care of the, uh, the roll with advantage, roll with disadvantage uh, pattern, which gives us, returns a dice set object, which kind of provides detail about the different dice that are being rolled. In this episode, we're going to try to adapt that pattern to the total um, pattern. So total with advantage, total disadvantage, and it uh, will return an integer that gives you the, the total of that rather than a dice set object. So similar to what we've got, if we look at our existing other code. And it looks like VS Code got updated. Hold on. Let me just try turning it off and on again. There we go. So we have all these roll methods, and then the total methods are going to return an integer rather than a um, um, think of the word rather than a dice set object. So um, the the trick here is that it's going to wind up actually calling it's still going to call nerd dice roll dice rather than total dice because um, total dice doesn't allow for you to do that advantage disadvantage I um, type of interaction on it because it itself returns an integer so we need to call roll dice which will give us the the dice set and then we'll call dot total on that to give the total of those values and kind of simulate the same interface that exists on the other total dice uh, type methods. So that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to start by copying um, highest, lowest, with advantage, with disadvantage, highest end, lowest end, with advantage end, with disadvantage end, and um, all those into total. Um, there's no real, we've done this before, so no, no real advantage to um, you watching me do this. I'll pause and copy that and we'll take a look at each of the files that we've created after that. All right, so we've got all of our specs copied. Now let's take a look at our first one here. So this is going to be total. Let's do this to all the titles before we go any further. So we got the titles updated, and then here we need to make sure that we're not going to need method options other than randomization technique. And it's still going to receive. these, but it's going to be total here in the method, and then we're going to call total here in all of these um, items here. I'll change them, pause. All right, so we've got things adapted. We're not going to be able to test in this case that it excludes the, uh, the lower die and the higher die. We are going to um, Let me. 
So we've got returns an integer here. And then I think that should give me what I need to test these. I'm going to isolate to just the, um, the first spec here. So we've got five failures. The one that passes is that the, um, the pattern is matching there because we already have roll or total uh, in the pattern there. So we will take this and everything from line six down, we will copy into the with advantage version of this. place with All right. That's what I've got. Highest and with advantage, they should both be failing six out of seven of these. And they are. So we'll go in and try to make this work. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll knock out the lowest version of this too before we, and then we'll kind of tick on all four of them at the same time in the convenience methods module. So lowest, similarly here is total. And then I'll adapt this. So as I was doing this, I decided that one way that I can test that this is doing what I want it to is to uh, refresh the seed, assert that it equals the uh, kind of run, run the roll dice version of this, run the total version of this, and then uh, expect that they equal each other. So I'm going to take that and adapt it to the, the highest and with advantage versions of this as well. Put them in the same place, so right after the first spec here adapt it. I'm replacing lowest with highest here. And then I'll do the same thing in the with advantage. Replacing highest. Should now have eight spec seven failing in each of those. Let me make sure I saved it. So I had six and five before, now it's seven and six. So do the same thing with, with advantage, seven and six. Lowest, seven and six. And then I have yet to adapt the lowest to with disadvantage. Line 
six to the end. It's also got seven and six, so now let's see if we can go and implement these. So we'll go into our convenience methods, get these two sections here. Oh, copy them properly. Move it down to the totals section, highest n. All right, I'm just going to go in and copy all of these out for highest, highest n, lowest lowest end. Put them here. So I've got the the methods copied over. I commented out the, um, the situation for rolling and totaling multiple dice for now so that we don't accidentally, um, so that our initial specs all fail and everything. Uh, and then the only thing we have to do to modify this is put dot total here on each of these. And see that gives us all passing for highest with advantage lowest and with disadvantage jump into the console So that looks like it's behaving as we expect. So the central tendency on with advantage is higher than you would expect for a uh, just a straight single d20 roll, and the um, central tendency for with disadvantage is lower than what we would expect. So that in com combination with our tests is doing what we expect it to do. Now we'll go in and do similar modifications with our highest end and lowest end here. So 
this is going to be total. Go in and do this because I'm going to forget to do the describe block. All right. So highest n. It is going to call this. I'll just adapt all the roles to say total, and then plug in the um, the situation that we have with the um, um, the integer and the um, setting them equal and making sure they work. So this is our adaptation where um, we didn't have to call refresh seed twice here because the um, before block for these ones is calling it explicitly. So we'll just save that. So that should Seven and six is what we want. We'll adapt this to the the highest situation, line twelve to the end. I mean, with advantage situation. Line 12 to the end. All right, that should give us seven and six failures. Similar adaptation to lowest. Oh, I think I was paused the whole time I did this. So, what I did, and I don't know when I lost you. So, for highest here, um, just adapted these, made sure we're using the pattern like 3D20 highest two. We don't need to uh, refresh the seed twice in these because we're doing it in the before block. And then did the same thing for lowest and with advantage, with disadvantage. Went into convenience methods, added in the blocks for total and I've got a unnecessary line there. Um, for the when statements for total with disadvantage, total with advantage, um, calling and defining those, which I uncommented, added dot total to the end, and now the whole suite is passing. So now I can go in and run Rubocop. Fences are all autocorrectable. We'll just let it happen. Everything's still passing with one hundred percent coverage. 
got our eight new spec files. We'll look at our specific diff on convenience methods. So, um, didn't need to change the, um, the main regular expression and added in the when statements, added in the define total methods, and that was it. And then we added our various specs. So we can git add everything, git commit with our message. We'll pause and write it. So I've got the commit message. I did go in and add those subtasks. So uh, the highest and inter with the integer top total and lowest with integer total. Those cards weren't there. I went in and added them, moved them into in progress. We'll sign the commit and we'll push. Move our cards to done. Check on our action. So we're green. Take a look at our backlog. So we've got refactoring, ensuring documentation in the readme, update the change log, and add to benchmark suite. So what I think I'm actually going to do next um, next episode is we're going to take this into the console and play with it, make sure that what we want to do um, is covered, do things to try to break it, and see um, if we need to make any additional modifications before we get this uh, refactored and ready for release. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.